planner friends it's amber from amber plans your day and i'm coming on to do some memory keeping with all of you guys for the week of wow where are we even at january last week of january i think yes 23rd through the 29th so this week you guys if you did not know we had national daisy day happen this week so we're going to be doing some daisy stickers from fun national holidays which is available on my website amberplantsforday.com january 28th was national daisy day so um i don't have any pictures with daisies but it's just so fun to kind of decorate that um and then we're also gonna use pastel shapes from mojo dojo plans again this one releases on friday february 3rd at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'll have a full flip through of this um, tomorrow, but I wanted to use it because it's so stinking pretty. So usually before I start decorating for my um, spread, I usually put the pictures down. So that was Sunday. That was also Sunday. That was on Saturday. Okay, we're pretty heavy on this side already. So let's kind of so this was Monday and this was Monday also. Okay. Okay. It's not too bad. Um, I might put this one over here and then put this down here, this one and this one. Okay. I think we're going to leave it like that for now. Sometimes I don't necessarily care a bunch if it is on the exact day that the event happened or the picture was taken because to me it is like memory keeping is also about like just what happened that week instead um, of like it happened on this exact day. So I think that for me that's why I don't care as much. Okay. If you guys don't have fun national holiday sticker book from Amber Planter Day, I really recommend it. It is still available on the website and it's so stinking fun. There are so many really, really fun um, stickers in there and fun different national holidays. Every All 30 pages of that sticker book are different. So love that too. Okay, so um, I want to tell you, I printed these photos on my Linne photo printer. I'll have my affiliate link down below. I love that it makes it into sticker paper with like the zinc um, like technology. I, I don't, literally don't even know how these printers work. They're like inklet, inkless. <laughs> that feels like a funny word. Um, they are ink free and... They like, I don't know, they're just, they seem magic <laughs> to me. Um, but I lo I've loved using them for, for memory keeping. It just makes everything a little bit easier. Um, instead of having to drive somewhere and pick these up and do all the things. Um, the print quality may not be 100% as consistent with things like um, the stores might have, but for what I'm doing, it, it doesn't feel like it's a bad trade-off. So, okay. I'm going to put this one over here, I guess. Okay. Leave that one like that. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Let's put some, whoa, camoli. What in the world? Um... I definitely want some daisies, actually. I think I might try to use all of this page. So let's just kind of rip, rip that out of there. Okay. Then we're going to try to use this whole thing here. And I think, I actually think I'm going to cut this. I love having, like, just being able to use stickers kind of however you want okay okay national daisy Let's see here daisy 
Dang. Cute. Then, something was sticky on there. There we go. Let's just put a daisy over here. Layer it with that picture. It totally looks fine. I want to leave some space for writing, I think, over there. So probably do that. But I think I want to try and use all of these daisies. As many as I can, at least. Let's layer that one there. Okay. Let's definitely add some on this side. Let's do one, two, three. Okay. Trying to get different colors, maybe like this purplish. One, one, two. Hang on, I'm going to get a smaller, maybe this like smaller green one. Like small right there. One, two, right there. I got a lot of orange left, so I probably should use at least a couple of those. Put that one up there. Let's do this quote, be like a wildflower. I think I'm gonna put that, actually I'm gonna put it right here by like the picture with most of our kids. I, I should have done that one because that one has all of our kids in it. That's all right. Um, okay, let's, we definitely want an orange flower on this right side of the page. I don't think I had any. I think I'm gonna make this into a cluster of three. Okay, I only have three more flowers. Should I focus on some boxes first and then like layer these on top of boxes? Um, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, what shape should we use? I think circles. I don't know, I just feel like circles. Yeah, let's just do circles, okay. So let's do this one, right? there and I think I'm going to layer that with a little bit of a smaller circle um where they go where are them smaller circles at like one of these ones maybe maybe this orange one okay let's start there then let's do What other color? I think we can maybe do like yellow and green over here. Okay, this one is so funny. Malachi grabbed this magazine and <laughs> decided that he wanted to read it. I thought that was stinking hilarious. Part of me is wishing though that I actually put a big circle there. Let's see if I can take this off. I don't know if I'll be able to without ruining something. Okay, that came off pretty good. Let's put this one actually right there. And maybe put this one right there with the picture. Okay, now for this side, we definitely want one a bigger one right there rose and vinnie looks so sick and cute in this picture and i think like a bit i want a big one right here i think but i would want to write about my date i think instead um, let's do this circle okay then let's grab a smaller one or like kind of a medium size let's do a couple one 
and two. And then for Malachi, I'll do another one up here and maybe layer that with that one. Okay. So box wise, I don't have anything here, but I might, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just, let's start here first. Let's use click art pens. These are my favorite pens recently. I like writing them on the bo on boxes or like paper stickers because they can bleed and shadow on the back page. Um, but they're just really fun and I just love all the colors. So I want to use these ones. I kind of want to use like, should I just use gray or should I use multiple colors? I think I'm going to use gray to kind of leave that neutral. Okay. I think I'm going to write table group right here. Table group. Um, we had our first table group of the season and the kids repeated a prayer Mike said it's was so cute. I wanted to say precious, but there was no way I had enough room to write precious, so I just went with that. Um, okay, I wanted I want to say like selfie. Selfie. Okay, that that's weird because like this is ten clean L. But I almost wrote an F and then I was like, right as soon as I was about to close it, I was like, wait, I need an L. The three littles are at such a fun age. And then I want I think I'm going to write cuddle. time. Okay, now here Vinny loves to pretend sleep. Okay. After the gym we sat in the lobby. For a bit, Malachi grabbed a magazine and pretended to read it. Okay, now for this side, um, the twins love each other so much. They always spend a lot of time together. This is also how Rose posed. I said, smile, and she like leaned back and I was like, I was like okay, Rose. <laughs> so silly. Um, I tried a new style of tucking in a shirt period I really loved the way it looked with my 
waist. Okay, then we're gonna do Costco trip. I think I'm gonna write best friends right here, mostly because I forgot to do some like hand lettering on this side of the page and like I had two over here and I had like none over here. It's not like I could still probably write date night, I guess. Um, Malachi loves trying all the samples. Um, sometimes like Malachi, like everyone was at school except Malachi. Everyone was like school except Malachi. <laughs> so there's that. Like sometimes that's why I have more pictures of Malachi. Um, I want to write date night. We went to Cold Stone after GC and got to finally spend time one on one. My goal for 2023 was to go on a date with Mike once a week or once a month, I mean, and we were pushing it for January. We were pushing it, but we made it finally right before the end of the week or the end of the month, but we made it. Um, I want to write like a little note here about um, our youth group event that happened. I'm one, I think it's okay if I put it there. It's not, I don't have a picture of it. Um, so I think I'm just going to write it. GC Ignite. Friday and Saturday. We had 35 youth attend Ignite Weekend abbreviated weekend so I could fit it um it was so powerful to see the Lord work in our youth cute okay so now like I said I did want to finish out the rest of these daisies because I only have three and I did want to use everything on this page here. Um, and I feel like I still have plenty of space. This is not a sticker January 28th. It's just so that you can note what day it is. Um, you can like use it as a sticker if you wanted to, I guess, but um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so I have it there. Can I, I think I'm gonna put it over here cute okay so now let's put some quotes yeah like should i do um black quotes volume two let's do i like this one that says be happy i think it's so cute i'm gonna put it right here i was thinking down here i think i can yeah I think I'll put it down there. Um, I was thinking down there because like that had a little bit more space. Um, oh, I like this one that says live your best life. I don't know. Will it fit here? Yeah, it looks good there. I like that. And... Uh, I like maybe one more small one. Ooh, this one's perfect. This one says go for it, which like is exactly what I did. 
I went for it with trying a new style. That's like perfect for right there. Okay. So let's put that pen away. I think that's it for this week of memory keeping. And technically this whole month of memory keeping is now done as well because I did all of it. So whenever like next in February, I'll do like a flip through of all of my planners and I'll definitely make sure that this is part of that so that you guys can kind of see what they all look like. Um, a whole month of memories done. It looks so good. I cannot wait to fill this whole planner up and be able to look back at it throughout the years. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any. Comment down below if you guys have considered starting a memory keeping planner. And if you started one, um, how is it going so far? Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.